Welcome back. We are back with more Deus Ex with the GMDX mod. And I found out from the footage last week that my gamma problems are not le are not quite over. Like when I recorded the footage, the it came out in full bright, like I hadn't had the gamma like like whatever I did just cranked the gamma way up. When I went to edit the footage, the editing process showed the normal light levels. The finished footage again showed it as full bright, so I reprocessed it, I darkened everything, and when I uploaded it to YouTube, it was dark. It was like it was it had undone the whatever weirdness had happened before. So there's there's something seriously weird about the way this game works with uh, Windows mode windowed mode, and I cannot for the life of me explain what that might be. It's cursed, I don't know. It's kind of a weird day in general. I had to replace a heatsink as well, and it literally just came just in time. But anyway, yes, welcome back to Deus Ex. And when we last left off... Hey, Zero, welcome aboard. We last left off in Hell's Kitchen at the Free Clinic. And... Running into a bit of a problem already with GMDX. I mean, in the... Uh, oh, hang on a second. Sorry, I had my mouse cursor off there. Namely... The limited charges on the medbot mean we can only heal so many times, and because we... Fertilizing the target of us. Yeah, it, it, it's almost certainly some weird compatibility issue. But anyway, because we had to crawl here literally... Li literally without legs last time, and we healed ourselves up previously, the latest time we got shot up, we can't heal ourselves at all. So we're gonna have to find another medbot, or just more supplies if we want to heal up. Now... Oh yeah, how was a uh, Gardic phone going? I know the rest of uh, the, I know the rest of the FC was playing it. Yeah, obtain more soy. One that is the, the plan. Doctors can help you. Welcome to Tenderloin Clinic. Uh, let me just right. make cops are double check, scared. make sure we're recording. Looks like we're good. Yes. Sorry, I'm a little bit paranoid about that. Reminds me of Washington. That's that one where you're kind of it's it's a game of telephone, but you're drawing, right? Aw, oh, stop bullying Kren, guys. Unless he can't hear you, then go nuts. <laughs> but yeah, we've got most of Hell's Kitchen done, but we do have to hit the bar. So let's do that next. This will actually be an opportune moment to scour the place for free food. Excuse me, miss. You the guy that helped Sandra? I think your friend is gonna be all right. What about Johnny? He's on his back in the alley. Serves him right, about time. What can you tell me about his boss, Jojo? Oh, Jojo, he's nothing, man. We used to go out. His body mods, cosmetic. Scars, <laughs> I saw him cut his face one time just so he'd look mean. Like that turn of the century yeah, head traffic. Too. Head tracking. Well, if you ever want to get into We're the not quite lined up, so you can out, sort of see her staring off into it's space. Three, three, one, six. I'm not off Thanks. to the side enough that she's actually helpful. going to turn her head enough to face me. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the incidental uh, voice acting for this game has not aged well. I think a lot of the main performances are still done reasonably with reasonable degree of quality. I still like Bob Page. I still think Walton Simons is decent. But, yeah, a lot of the incidental NPCs definitely have that. Who do we have in the studio right now feel to them? I talked to your father. He asked me to invite you back home. No strings attached. How sweet. You could at least let your father know you're all right. He knows where I am. You mad at him or something? No, but I don't want him running my life like he runs that cheap hotel. He doesn't do such a bad job. He never got nowhere because he never took chances. That ain't me. I'm gonna do things my way. I think you should be more grateful for what he's done. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, the acting, uh... It, it's a hit or miss for its time, but I still think it's one of the better overall instances of its, uh, generation. Like, you take a look at something more like, uh... Max Payne, which is a little more competently directed, but doesn't quite have the breadth of NPCs or the, uh... scope of the settings. 
I'm willing to cut this one a little more slack because it's doing more in general. Anyway, I'm, I'm nicking all the stuff because we're trying to heal every single point we can. So, pardon me, Mr. Uh, reporter Man. I'm just going to take your beer here. Joe Green. Exactly, Midnight yeah. It, it fits the theme. You. What can you tell me about it what's going on It fits the mood that there. it's going for, which is this... Sorry, uh, regulations prevent me from talking to the press. Cyberpunk regulations, adventure. Regulations, huh? So you are part of the crackdown. Like I said, I have nothing to say. Too stylish for the National Guard? Too athletic for NYPD? You oh yeah, it's kind of wild seeing show. voices that you've I really heard can't like 20 right years now. ago turn up in something else. Very often it's difficult to track. Like, your... your brain... Your brain really does... Oh, wow. I'm used to that actually being a bit more stubborn. Your brain does weird things to how you remember... ...hearing people and things. I'm just gonna get super wasted here and talk to the press. Because I'm a responsible policeman. How about I ask you a few questions? Splendid! I certainly would like to know what an international anti-terrorist organization expects to find in a dive like this. Heard anything about a secret NSF power generator? Uh huh. I never We're did play detective, are we? I take it you've been assigned to eliminate certain weapons systems, defenses, maybe? Am I getting? Yeah, Homeworld in general was really Just well done. The question. And let me be more pointed. Not so much in the second game, but the first, and especially Cataclysm. I think they, uh, the fastest growing political movement in this units definitely history. captured the feel of this in a democracy. Armed rebellion is criminal, space not adventure. political. Rebellion, as the Declaration of Independence tells us, is not only our right, but our duty when we have suffered a long train of abuses and usurpations. This is gonna make a great story. Right. I did that in particular because it'll be a minor point of interest later on when we get back to you, Natko. That dude's a bit shifty, and they basically admit as such, even in, like, the official guide. They say... they describe him as, even when you're... Asking it's him questions, on, you get the impression he's paying a little he's too close of attention to right you. Outside the bar. Buy Ambrosia from a drug dealer? We're talking about your wife, the Grey Death. I don't know. And for those just if joining I us, her, I mentioned some of the, the differences in GMDX previously, but you can see him. here that He'd be hanging from a the he was opening your, your menu don't hey, longer... Shed, yeah, I can't talk go. right now. He's a little vodka this time. Opening your menu does not I pause know. the game anymore. Guess I have to do something. So whenever you make changes to your inventory, you have to do them on the fly. Yes? Just curious. I thought I heard you say Ambrosia. My wife has the plague. He already lost his daughter. Sorry to hear that. So do I trust some street punk called Jojo to get me pharmaceuticals? Trust him with my wife's life? I thought Ambrosia was an urban legend. Jojo probably just wants to sound like a player. I shouldn't get my hopes up. I don't know what to right. say. Right, Deserts was kind you of a prequel, cool, wasn't think it? Is right. So yeah, she wouldn't be bound up with a ship just yet. Can I ask a question? Go right ahead. I'm looking around for a power generator, possibly hidden, large enough to power a building. I, I do still kind of want to check it out, but I have I uh, tempered it. my expectations. Oh, 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 I have tempered course. my expectations you from know, some uh, power at a place mixed a reception. South. A warehouse. Strangest thing. They wanted to conceal these gas-driven generators on the second floor. Didn't give a hoot if their own people got asphyxiated. Honestly, I just missed the real-time strategy genre. No way through the blockades now. We went over some I was replaying the... There. Uh, there was a lift. The code was three three one six. The re-release of Command and Conquer not too Thanks long ago, tip. and they actually put an impressive amount of work into it. It it it's a case of a re-release making a game feel like your nostalgia brain remembers it, and they add a lot of nice quality of life features to it. Oh, it engages in a bit of retconning. Hmm. What can I get you? You work here. You must know the area. Heard of an old warehouse with an illegal power generator? Not exactly, but if you're looking for a warehouse, yeah, you the genre is kind of warehouse district. Not as ubiquitous as it used south, to be. Not a bad walk, but the riot police have blocked the roads because of the NSF. I'd like to check it out. Well, Other than the CNC re reboot, I think the last one I played was Grey Goo. I, I want to say, which did like have the distinction of having Frank Lepaki on the soundtrack, but honestly, wasn't all that memorable otherwise. That's some heavy augmentation. Yeah. God, yeah. If only we had a. Uh, I'm in the business. If only we had a proper well, sequel. I was in an early world. program, okay? I can still too, polish I the glass. Say. Good luck with your business. Mind if I ask you a few questions? 
Hey, you look like the vigilante type. What if I said I knew where you could load up on military hardware? You mean that guy smuggler across the street? Already know him, huh? Too bad. Hey, how about I tell you about something you can't hear from anybody else? What's that? Area 51. You heard of it, right? Actually, I'd rather hear whether you know anything about a warehouse with an illicit generator. Yeah, I know there were some I issues between the first and the second Most game. Think they got it, aliens from the only thing planet, I remember offhand was the any flying saucers. something about you the number about of hyperspace cores that apparently existed. I, I, think, I think they didn't really imply there was more than one in the first game, but I could be mistaken. Shoot. A beer, please. Anyway, there you go. just gotta buy some beers for Jock here. What do you have for me? You can have this beer. I appreciate it. Yep, I know for a fact it's not just for government research. Nice little detail. He I actually notices if you grab one off the table. Specifically, he says sure he wants a cold one, and you there. have to buy one straight from Billionaires, uh, the bartender for that. I think the whole place has been taken over by a private corporation. Not likely. Something's going on underground. I'm a pilot, which means I didn't get any access to the main complex. But a lot of rock comes out of there. It's some kind of mine. But what I don't understand is why they're always laying more fiber optic cables. A pilot? What do you fly? Copters. You know what I think? Exactly. The man's earned it. I think that's where the UN moved Echelon 4 back Yeah, that was my understanding. They were going to stop they, spying on people. The core took on mystical qualities that it didn't quite have in the first game, and they sort of spun the narrative off from there. Unusual, even for the UN. I bet they did it. They want to centralize everything. It wasn't a bad game. Every I still ultimately enjoyed Homeworld planet. 2, but yeah. It, it, the first game in Cataclysm are definitely my favorites of the series. It taps out. Only bottles. A beer, please. There you go. Because yeah, you absolutely so want your helicopter pilot to be liquored up yeah, before he takes off. Had enough. Hell, I'm about to go on duty. What kind of chopper pilot starts work at midnight? You're with Yonatko, right? Why do you ask? Oh, I'm right, right. I'm used to giving him two beers Kong. because one of them is about uh, Smuggler, but I already got that from pilots. Sandra, so I don't the actually need the other one. Are run by the NSA to support I'll just have to drink it. Operations. Pentagon uses them, I mean, if he's going to be wasted when he goes on duty, I don't see why I can't I don't be. Ask any questions. What was Paul's assignment in Hong Kong? Like I said, I know how to keep a secret. Even between brothers. So he's holding something back. The reason UNACO transferred him back to the States. Listen to your brother, JC. Respect his experience. Let's leave it at that. Like, I'd say Jock's actually a pretty... His acting is fairly decent, given the circumstances. I don't know if he's anybody... Uh, I, I don't know if he had done a lot before or has done a lot since, but he carries the whole experienced pilot very well. He, he, he's good for the role, I would say. All right, now let's. There we go. Five four three six five four five five. What? Hmm. Count pin. Interesting. All right, what about the other one I found? Nine four seven seven six one two eight six seven. Seven six one two eight six seven. There we go. Yeah, whole thirty six credits. Now, I'm wondering if this still works. Okay, yeah, that's. If I recall right, actually, it might work in other zones. Basically, it's always a bit iffy whether ATMs will let you access the same account twice. One, two, eight, six, seven. Yeah, see, now I can grab the same account for 98 credits. Two fifty, that's more like it. They did try some kind of unified account system in I think it was the nameless mod, where if you looted an account from one ATM, you wouldn't be able to do so from the others, and also they would kind of gradually fill up over time, or other people might withdraw from them and such. It was always kind of hard to tell whether it was working or not. I 
That's it. Give me your money. I'm the good guys. It's fine when I take money. Okie dokie. Let's go talk to this smuggler here. Uh, where's it at? Here we are. Yes. Password? Bloodshot. Alright. Anything in here? Yes. Just grab beer we find lying around. Why not? Files show that the smugglers whacked out paranoid. Watch for booby traps. And the latest news, your brother's team hit some resistance. So they're gonna be delayed while we bring in chopper support. Basically, take your time with side quests, we're in no hurry. Thank you, Alex. Alright, can we hack you? No, we can't. Damn it. Uh, here we go. So yeah, I touched on this briefly, but GMDX adds a little more complexities to whether you can hack and rewire stuff. We talked about the perk system. If I see here... Yeah, in addition to standard uh, upgrades to your, to your skills, you can also specialize a little bit in each one and add stuff like... Yeah, a stop work program, hacks additional restoration for medical and maintenance bots. Basically, there are more ways to invest your skill points if you want to specialize in a particular skill. So, do I want to invest in that? I kind of do. But also, hmm, try to think long term here because the kind of weapons we're going to be running across repeatedly are mostly pistols and melee weapons. And we do want to upgrade those eventually. But... Yeah, we'll go ahead and upgrade hacking. Why not? And yeah. Because uh, we are going to get regeneration eventually. I don't know how useful that will be. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and hack this thing. Bollards. Oh, interesting. That's new. Ha! Huh, clever. I like that. That wasn't in the original. Hey, thanks for the follow. Oh, we already have a ballistic armor. Yeah, that wasn't in the original game. It was an underground parking lot, but it only had the uh, laser defenses there. That's just a little bit of fluff, but I like that. That's the kind of touches that GMDX is making. There's... Oh! I forgot about the gas grenade. <laughs> uh, do I have any medkits? I do, yes. But yeah, that, that's the kind of things that, GM, that GMDX does. There's not a lot of architectural changes... But they add a lot of detail to the environment, and overall make everything look... In, in addition to making the engine itself run a little bit more smoothly, they make some aesthetic changes to the levels, and I like most of what they're doing here. Well, you know, you want to season the soy food first. Hey, Smuggler, how's it going? What do you want? Why the booby traps? Afraid of something? Just precautions. Against what? Government's been having some kind of crackdown all year. People I know, they've been disappearing. Is that so? Think it's a big joke? Lift up a grate in the street. They got my friend, Ford Schick, in a secret lab next to the sewers. A lab? In the sewers? Maybe he was taken hostage by the NSF. A lot of that going These guys are pros. Sure. Definitely government funded. Interesting. Maybe I'll take a look, but I think you should have a little more regard for the United States government. That is a nice if little If you're serious touch, about yeah. going down there and finding Ford, I'll give you a deal on some hardware. Also, you'll need this. It's the key that can open the sewer manholes. Excellent. We get to go hardware. play in the sewers now. I have a scope that will fit most handguns and rifles for 2,200 credits. A bioelectric cell for 800? 
and some light amplification goggles for 3500 Indeed, Zero, the number 12 is coming to mind for some reason. Uh, Iron Harvest, I did not. Uh, remi refresh my memory which one that one was, which game that was. Too expensive. Maybe I'll try to locate your friend. There's a couple things it could be if I'm remembering right, but I'm bad at guessing. Haha, <laughs> hey Slayer. Alright, now. Let's see if this is still here. Alright. Now this comes up a lot. There's this... Some kind of central oracle that people email. It appears to be some kind of information clearinghouse. This is a smuggler looking for his friend. And he says that... And they say his work... In... Uh, his work in his past, they don't really specify what had something to do with his disappearance. There's this other me email that's entirely in French. Unfortunately, I can't translate it, but it's got... I, I don't know French, unfortunately, but it's got something to do with work that Smuggler did. Now, there was one number in particular I'm going to open that email back up, because I went to copy it, but it's kind of a clever way of delivering another bank password. Oh, hey, Kren. <laughs> That's right, you speak French. I'll pop it up. We'll see what you can see what uh see if you can tell us what it says. Uh I do not have enough tools for this. Damn. We'll have to open that up later. Alt history World War game with diesel punk mechs, Polish faction as a war bear. Oh, that sounds awesome. I'm gonna check that out. Yeah, that sounds really cool. Oh hey, he's got a fridge. Pardon me, just gonna help myself to your snacks here. Will do. Yeah, that sounds neat. I kind of like all history that centers around the big wars. Alright, so we're gonna hack again one more time. Like, I kind of have a soft spot for this uh, one shooter called Iron Storm, which is like World War One to 50 years later. Alright, Kren, we're here. Yeah, three one two four four six one three five one. And running out of time. Did you get any of that? We find your limits acceptable. Yeah, as far as I can tell, it's some kind of business transaction. And it's heavily implied to be Silhouette, who we'll deal, be dealing with later. But they don't specify it there. But that does bring to one little feature that doesn't get a lot of use. That I actually really like. The ability to make your own notes. You'll maybe use that once or twice in the game, but it's such a neat idea. And I wish more games let you do stuff like that. Yeah, there's probably, uh... The entry is probably listed somewhere. Um, you know what? I'm gonna hit this and go up real quick. Actually, give me just a sec. I'm going to see if I can find a link to the text. It's out there somewhere. Here, I'm going to drop a link in the... In... That's the my go-to when I need to reference some of the game text. Ah, Zero's got it. Thanks. But yeah, I, I kind of find that a neat little detail. It's relevant to the plot, and then you'll be dealing with... Almost certainly these same people somewhere down the line, but it's sly way of giving you another account you can hack. Or in this case, another account you can access. But yeah, thanks for the link, I appreciate it. And thank you, Kren, for the translation. There we go. Ah, interesting. So it's being a little bit vague about the services they bought from Smuggler. 
but they're almost certainly illicit. And they're very coy about uh, how they provide him with funding. Yeah, see, we can't access the account from here, but we could access it on the su in the uh, subway platform. So each ATM isn't necessarily linked. It's more about an item they drop in the zone, and the account has X amount of funds in each map. And that's kind of what I was half-assedly explaining previously. So we'll hit this guy right here, and then we'll hop in the sewers. Six one three five one. Thank you, France. Your money will be spent on some high quality soy. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say, Ivory. And that's something that the nameless mod tried to do tried to link accounts across zones. I'm still not clear if they actually pulled it off. It was a neat idea. Anyway, down to the sewers. These tunnels aren't on the New York City sewer maps. Weird. I have no information on what you might be getting into. Ooh, we got a guy Seems there. Worth following up. Hmm. Oh shit. All right. We got guys in body armor. This means trouble. This means danger, 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 high voltage! Okay, that didn't quite work as planned. <laughs> MJ-12 troops have more HP than I remember. It's weird, because it was taking them down, uh... It was one-shotting the NSF troops. <laughs> right. We're going lethal with these boys until we can afford to otherwise. You know what? A good pun is worth dying for. Oh, interesting. Especially when that doubles as an, elect as an Electric Six reference. Okay, there's the guy I was expecting. Does it? Like I was saying, since I keep having to ditch weapons between maps, I keep finding myself falling back on what I can easily find. You could say I'm on knife support! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that felt good. Ah, there's a bridge down there. Now, this is interesting. They only had the one bridge here, which you rotate to get down the ladders. So they have made a few changes in the sewers. Yeah, that's fair. I suppose MJ-12 would be... Who's there? ...made of sterner stuff. Easy does it. As I said, this won't be a full pun run like it was with Dishonored. We're past punishment. Now. We are on gunishment. Aha! All right. Now this is some first. This is the first mention we've got of something with something involving Hong Kong. The ship. So there's something being shipped from there that has something to do with these guys, and we'll be getting into that later. But yeah, they're starting to drop hints of future plot developments. <laughs> Oh, just you wait. Just you wait, Ash. I got a list. Alright. Week's code, 2167. Alright. I'm gonna turn these off. Yeah, they added a few more options to these security terminals. If I recall right, that, uh, you would only- f you would find the code later. Alright, now we do have a guy down there. Easy does it. Wait 
for our aim to tighten. <laughs> like I said, when you get old enough, you start taking on dad energy, whether you like it or not. Now, time for some high voltage rock and roll. <laughs> okay, yeah, so they still go down if you beat them in the head. They just. It still takes a few seconds. Like I mentioned in the last stream, they've clearly upped the damage on everything, and that includes your stunning weapons. But you still need to be ready for the possibility that they're gonna round, run around screaming for a bit. <laughs> See, Kren gets it. Clearly, I've been hanging out with him too long. Uh, point of order: the first high bolt, the first high voltage point was Electric Six. The second one was AC/DC. I am keeping track. All right, so we don't have to worry about here. Nope. We do have to worry about that, however. Yay! Damn it! Hmm. Electric panel, you lied to me. I've been betrayed. I can never trust these things again. Alright, I'm just gonna run through this and let the, the alarm run out. Yeah, more clues to who these guys are. This mission is authorized at a level of throw in 6G. That's a term we'll be seeing uh, more of later on. You will not interface with local authorities, UNATCO, or other government agencies. You are to act with prejudice against any threats and mission objectives. And the fact that this guy's here with an NSF trooper body means they're not they're not on the same side. We're dealing with a new set of masked goons. Yeah, that is a nice touch. I think that was, uh... I think Shifter replaced the combat speed with that. Which is mostly untouched here, so I don't think that's, uh... I don't think this game does that, unfortunately. Now... We don't want to jump in the death water, but we do want stuff. By transitive property, that means we do want to jump in the death water. Where's my, uh... Damn. Alright. Time for this thing. Hey! There we go. Oh, shit! Interesting. Alright. Can I grab that before it falls? Probably not. Oopsie daisy, here we go. Okay! Yeah. Alright, yeah. We can forget about the pistol ammo. Clearly not worth the trouble. But I am gonna get at least this. Okay. They figured out how to make radioactive radiation have transitive properties and poison you through the air. And I died so hard I clipped through the level there. <laughs> okay, clearly we're gonna have to let this go. Pains me to admit, but I can't make an exhaustive search for inventory down there. The water's just too dangerous. <sighs> It hurts. It hurts, kids. Uh, is there any 
anything down here. Yeah, as sewers le as sewer levels go, this feels a little bit more intense than one might Remember the briefing. Ah shit. You follow me. Oh, come on. Come on, tank through it. Hold together, baby, you can do it! Right. <laughs> oh, man. Playing through this unrealistic for first time through is the absolute best decision I could have made. Alright. Definitely going to have to take the kid gloves off with these guys. Yeah, your environmental resistance aug does give you some protection against poison darts, but unfortunately, we don't have that up enough. We're not really Bionic Man just yet. We're sort of... We're the $600 man. We're working on it. Alright. Let's hide over here. Wait for that guy to... come this way. Actually, let's see if we can summon him. Oh, come on now, you couldn't hear that? Well, that's just plain silly. Does it? Wait for him to walk back. Yeah, the door's automatically closing kind of complicates things. Anyway, you know what I heard about sewer levels? Developers add them when they're under the gun! Aha! This area is an old water treatment facility. I wonder what all these paramilitary types are doing down here. But considering what the smugglers said, I would imagine this is where they're holding his friend, Forge Schick. Right. So this is what Smuggler was talking about. There's some heavily armed security down here. They appear to be holding his friend. Oh, interesting. I don't know if that was part of the mod or if something in the game was kind of wigging out there. Interesting little glitch, if it was. Oh, oh come on, really? Oh, I ha I've had enemies... Re okay, that's just a sink. I've had enemies respond to darts before. So, they do definitely respond to those and uh, go looking for the source of the noise. But it's kind of selective whether that noise will travel. Okay, there's a guy right there. Whoa! Oh, is this... Oh, interesting. That's a guy with his helmet off. I know what to do there. Nice. How oh, interesting. The name for them said paramilitary troop, whereas I think previously they did identify them as Majestic 12. Yeah, now we're seeing the game take a few more liberties. Because obviously some of this was here, but the whole facility didn't have a bathroom, it didn't have an air vent, or at least not up there. So now we're seeing into some of the stuff that the revision mod did as well. There's even a little break room area. Nice. Ah, that's his pistol. A Glock. Is that different from what I've got? No, it's not. Okay. Yeah. We still need to heal ourselves, so we're going to be grabbing all the food we can. Ooh, lockpick. 
Soy food, yes, gimme. Like the image of JC kind of jumping in place trying to grab stuff. JC wants uppies. I know there's one guy patrolling back and forth there. There's at least one more in the room beyond. In fact, I better save. Oh, shit. Alright, two in there. Alright, so they do it for these guys, too. That's uh, another little detail of GMDX, adding troopers without helmets. And we actually saw in the last episode, one of the UNACO troopers actually had his helmet shot off. So it might not just be decorative. They might actually give them some protection. Shit. Time to hide. Ah, didn't hide well enough. Ah. Shit. I'm a torso again. Day. Anyone else hungry? <laughs> okay, yeah. Until we get bulletproof augmentations, we are very vulnerable to bullets. So we will need to be careful about that. Yeah, so last the vent proved a poor point of egress, so we're going to need to... We're going to need to figure out how many guys are actually here, and then set the place up carefully. Oh, shit. Easy does it. Alright, I got an idea here. Hope these guys don't notice me loading the room with poison. Easy does it. Y'all don't see shit. Alright, I can't drop that there. Yep. Alright. Don't worry, I'm a professional. And I know exactly where this is going. All we gotta do is wait for him to go back in. Actually, do I have a gas grenade? I do not. Damn. That would have been perfect. Yeah. Right. And a one, and a two, and uh, I don't have a poison pun, so I'm just gonna do it. Yay! AP ammo. Alright. Sit tight, Mr. Schick. Poison has a predetermined radius and will not affect you so long as you don't move. Got them both. You two, take a breather. Oh, -ho! all right. What else do we got in here? Jay Stewart, JS one three five seven. All right. Our chemist. Your concern about his behavior is unwarranted. However, once the initial trial is completed, you may eliminate him at your discretion. Ah. So these guys are up here on behalf of a corporation. Smuggler was worried that these guys were government, and he's a paranoid type, so that's not an unwarranted concern. 
But it appears these guys are security for some kind of corporation. Possibly a large one that will be central to the conspiracy we'll be dealing with later. And here we see another reference to the shipment. Be arriving shortly, ensure all chlorine delivery tests are completed. Now, remember what I was talking about last time with the bum in the free clinic who was talking about how he thought terrorists put Grey Death in the water and he had some training in biochemistry? And we saw that one news report how there was some speculation about the chlorine spill in the East River as a possible source of the Grey Death, as a possible means of transmission. It seems like if you read, if you if you figure, if you collect all the information, it seems like these guys are here to do tests involve chlorine delivery, and that's appears to be what they've grabbed forward for. Now, what's odd is even though this isn't strictly speaking your mission, you can't really tell anyone about this. I think um, I think afterward, Alex bring, like does some research. There's like an email where he's looking into Majestic Twelve. But it doesn't really come up. And it might... It's... It probably has something to do with, uh... Your ultimate... The ultimate situation with UNATCO. But it's just a little odd that this whole thing goes basically without comment. <laughs> Thanks, you two. I had a feeling that'd be a hit. But anyway, yes. Let's get forward out of here. After we're done looting the place. Oh, do we have enough? Damn it! Damn it! Come on. Need uh, another multi tool here. Uh, maybe it's in here. I'll talk to him you first. Must be Ford Check. Who are you? Smuggler sent me. Who's holding you here? I don't recognize the uniforms of the soldiers. I don't know. They're private security for a biotech company or something. They had me doing antibody work. Corporate security isn't usually outfitted to fight a ground war. They're doing experiments on people. They don't want anybody finding out. All right, let's get you out of here. Make a break for it. I'll protect you. Here I go. Here, I'll go with you. He should be all right. I think we got rid of everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. But just to be sure, because this mod seems to love throwing curveballs at me. Where are you headed? I can make it from here. Yay! Nice. If you see Smuggler, tell him I'm all right. They had me working on immunoglobulin encodings. The soldiers kidnap homeless people and inject them with great death. Yeah, so that's what the whole thing about. They're doing experiments on homeless people and kidnapping them for to find more ways to spread the virus. And I think the implication is that powers that be are actively suppressing any investigation into the real cause of it. But yeah, since your mission is focused on the NSF, this whole little episode is doesn't really get any comment. Hey, there's another one. Alright, let's use these guys up. Yes! Oh, give me all that stuff. EMP grenade. Oh, a riot prod. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. I can start making shock puns again. Now, they toned it down a bit. There was more here previously, I think. There was actually uh, one of those single use rockets. have tightened up on your inventory restrictions in this mod. Which, on top of my stipulation, is does make things a bit more challenging. But what are we here for if not to watch me die horribly as I figure that out? <laughs> oh, now wait a minute. What's all this about? 
This definitely wasn't here last time. Oh! God damn it! <sighs> right. I'm gonna take this opportunity to reorganize my inventory. Interesting. Okay, so this gives us more time when we hack something. I'll have to give that a try. Not even sure how that works. Alright, what does this do? Oh, it's just a thing we can use. Kind of neat. Oh, yeah, an auto-sort would be a great idea. Alright, let's spin the bridge around. With their very subtle password of coup d'etat. make our way back to Smuggler, but first, one more detour. Hack everything! Give me your money! Yes! Give me that cash, baby! Aww. I think what might happen is, if there's more than one ATM in a zone, Hacking might drain from a single account. Either that, or that one just didn't have a... a hack account for it to pull from. <laughs> Please, it's Crash Override now. I'm trying to keep it on the down low, you know? I'm trying to hide my reputation. Although it is funny we're doing this in New York. Whole 51 credits. Yeah, it sounds about right. 170. Hey, withdraw all button. Nice. All right. Get back to smuggler. Yes. Password? Bloodshot. Yeah, it's been a while since I've opened up the editor myself. Now, let's see if this still works. Haha! <laughs> yes! Fuck waiting for the elevator. I got places to be. You know, it feels like a hundred years ago. It's genuinely hard for me to grasp that this was that this game is 21 years old. Uh, all right, so we got a fair bit of money, I got sir. What do you have for sale? Ford, is he all right? Fine. You were right about those troops. Definitely not NSF. They're the CIA. They capture people and use them for medical experiments. I wouldn't go that far. Sir, I know you it's trendy to blame it everything by the, uh, on Since the CIA, Ford, but I think the CIA are taking notes from these guys. I'll give you a scope most handguns and rifles for 700 credits. A bioelectric cell for 250, or some light amplification goggles for 1125. Now, not a lot useful here. The light amplification goggles were made more useful by GMDX. As we saw in the first episode, they give you some limited thermal vision, even if you don't have uh, environmental training up. But uh, usually I just grab a Here's bio cell this first bio time. Deal. See you later. Hey, 
And thanks again for finding Ford. No problem. All right. Now, let's get back to the mission we're actually here for. Which is the whole... Power generator in a warehouse situation. <laughs> 